by his comments on duct and graph and stroke, on shaft and bow and minim, Mr. Parks has identified criteria for classifying scripts and provided fresh... Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I'm the host of Stuff of Genius. How are you? On June 17, 1952, there was a huge explosion in a house in Pasadena, California. Inside was a man named Jack Parsons. He'd lost his right arm and most of his face, but he was still conscious when help arrived. Unfortunately, a few hours later, Mr. Parsons was dead. A criminologist on the scene thought that Parsons had mixed fulminate of mercury inside a coffee tin and then dropped it on the garage floor, exploding and causing a massive reaction with all the volatile chemicals inside. Parsons was important because of his contributions to science, specifically rocket science. He didn't have a formal academic background, but what he did do was invent a solid rocket fuel that was the precursor to what we now use to launch objects into space. Parsons was also a member of the Suicide Squad, a group of reckless scientists who went out into the desert of California and launched rockets as fast as they possibly could go. The Suicide Squad helped found the Jet Propulsion Laboratory at the California Institute of Technology. This organization partners with NASA to create Mars rovers, X-ray telescopes, and gravity mapping spaceships. However, Parsons is mainly known outside of science for being a thrill seeker, a libertine, and what some people would refer to as a wizard. Parsons was deeply interested in the occult, and he regularly performed rituals and spells with ingredients like hallucinogens and prostitutes. He followed the philosophy of Thelema, created by Aleister Crowley at the beginning of the 20th century. Crowley chose him to be the leader of his cult in Los Angeles for two reasons. One, he had lots of wealthy relationships, and two, he was very enthusiastic about sex magic. That's just the beginning of the strange stories about Parsons, but what's important is the contributions that he made to rocket science. Without Parsons, we might never have visited the moon and beyond. Did you find my allocution illuminating? If so, click subscribe. or. Witness the other videos of Stuff of Genius.